In this lesson, we're going to review how to strip non-numeric characters from a formula. So there's a string of formula that can be written to strip out only the non-numerical values from a cell and only return the numerical values. This is useful in situations where you need to calculate the sum of data that's contained within a cell, which has non-numerical values, and you want to strip that out so that you only have the numeric portions of the text string. And this is sometimes the case if you want to calculate profit and loss data and it's commingled with text or in the case of serial numbers or other purposes. So let's take a look at the formula and then jump into an example. So the formula that we're going to use is a text join formula. Now I just copied the formula here in cell D12 so that you can have it going forward and you don't have to memorize that. So it's equal to text join and then we've got a series of string that goes after it and it'll help us strip out the non-numeric data from any cell. So in this formula, what you want to do is you want to copy this formula into your workbook, but the only thing that you want to change is the reference for A1. As you can see, I'm using A1 in this case. But you want to select the actual cell that you want to strip out data for. That's the only thing that you're going to change. The formula uses a mid formula which works from the inside out to remove non-numeric characters and the row and indirect functions act to reference an array of the numbers between 1 and 100 so that it can strip out those numbers within the cell. Let's take a look at an example. So I've got some original data in cells D20 through D30 and as you can see there's a ton of different characters and they're both numeric and non-numeric and I want to just strip out the numeric characters. So in the revised data as you can see it's pretty clean. I've only got numerical values and the way in which I did that was I just copied the formula syntax above for the text join formula and the only thing I changed was A1, right? I don't want that A1 reference. I want it to reference the cell which contains the original data. In this case it's D21. I do that and I press enter and it returns the stripped data for just the numerical values. I can copy that down and just change the cell reference to be D22 for the next example and so on. And it's going to work by stripping out the numerical values only. Hey guys, thanks for watching this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I'd really appreciate a like and subscribe from you. And if you want to learn more about Microsoft Excel, check out these videos above. And don't forget to check out our website, commercecurve.com, where we have lots of in-depth finance and accounting courses available with full training workbooks. All of our courses come with complete workbooks of lessons, examples, pre-built financial models, and training video. Hope to see you there.